Hi, I'm Mike Reardon from Hamilton Urban Farms. We're a nonprofit organization in Hamilton who grow and distribute food to needy people and to food banks. What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanFood.com. We are vibes enough in the kitchen. We in the car. We just going out to um to check out Hamilton Urban Farms. We were invited. Um, Contacted via Facebook by Mike and Rebecca. Chris, you got to come check out what we're doing here locally in Hamilton for food. We're growing food locally here in Hamilton. And um, so we're going to check out Mike and Rebecca over at Hamilton Urban Farms. I'm not sure what to expect, but camera in hand, enthusiastic about going to see what we're doing. So here we go. Mike, you're standing behind. We've got beans climbing up your house. Just about every corner of your property is covered by some sort of vegetable, some sort of herb. Some I'm even seeing your recycle bin has potatoes growing in there. <laughs> Where does the drive come from, man? Oh, it's just a, it's a passion of mine. You know, we don't have a lot of money, but uh, we want to help the community. So uh, growing stuff is seems to be uh, the way we do it. Now you, you talk about the community. Where does all the food go to? Like, like, how does where, where do you where does the food end up? Well, if we uh, this year we're we're looking at uh, food banks. Uh, a lot of it's going to neighbor to neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a food bank on the mountain here in Hamilton. Uh, we also we're t uh, thinking about doing. Um, seniors buildings geared to income seniors buildings where they might not have access to food uh, fresh vegetables so we're thinking about uh, doing fresh farmers markets there excellent so now let's say I'm a senior I'm, I, I want to get in contact with you I want to get some of the I'm seeing some lovely Swiss chard coming up there yeah now I don't have any transport so I'm guessing you go to these seniors right like uh, we want to um, 
set up like a table, mm -hmm. just like a, a free farmer's market where the seniors can come down uh, in the building they live in and we'll put a spread out of different vegetables and they could take what they like uh, for free with no charge. So you're planting the food, you're weeding, you're, <laughs> you're harvesting and you're taking it to these people. Right. Now that is something you're not seeing well, I've never seen it locally here in Hamilton being done before. And I mean, I say that takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of energy. That is something very human. And I mean, I say I'm really hoping that um, you continue this. And, and you now, if people want to come out and support you, um, help here or even help in any way or form, yep. do you accept help? Oh, absolutely, volunteers. <laughs> we need help with uh, weeding the gardens, mm -hmm. even uh, harvesting. Uh, bringing it to neighbor to neighbor or another food bank. Uh, we will need help with probably mid-July, early August with doing these free uh, food markets at senior buildings. Um, so if they want to get a hold of us, they can visit our website at www.hamiltonurbanfarm.com. Uh, my uh, email there is mike at hamiltonurbanfarms.com. Uh, they can be more than likely, they can um, contact me there. Um, or they can come visit us at the farm. It's, uh, it's not really a farm, it's my, <laughs> it's my house. But well, yeah, uh, we're in the middle, of we're in the, <laughs> <laughs> the West Mountain here in the middle of a residential area. But I mean to say, you're using up every extra space here for something positive for the community. Bravo, man. Thank you. I'm guessing you've been doing this for a little while now. What can you tell us as far as your experience in doing it and how long you have been doing it? Uh, I've been growing stuff all my life. My dad's a real green thumb. This, what you see here now, is um, just the first year. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we had pretty much test gardens. We had uh, probably half of these beds here just to see how much we could actually produce. Uh, after that, we brought in um, uh, bobcat that was donated by Cleveland Rentals. Mm -hmm. uh, we cleared the land and we ended up putting in all these beds that you see here. So this is a, basically our, our first year uh, doing this. 